BuzzFeed, a digital media powerhouse, established itself as a trailblazer in storytelling and content creation. Renowned shows like The Try Guys, Worth It, and BuzzFeed Unsolved transcended mere entertainment, morphing into cultural phenomena that ignited discussions on the internet. Yet, the evolution of the digital landscape unveiled chinks in BuzzFeed's armor, casting a shadow over its once blazing prominence. Central to BuzzFeed's allure was its expertise in crafting content that spoke to the casual browser, the office dweller seeking refuge from mundane tasks, from quizzes that revealed what kind of pizza one might be, to lists of oddly satisfying gifts, BuzzFeed's ability to produce mindless, easy digestible content was second to none. It catered to those seeking to escape from workplace boredom, the brief yet fulfilling moments of distraction that the digital age had to offer. First, let's take a look at how BuzzFeed got started. Back in 2001, there was this guy named Jonah Peretti. He was studying for his master's degree at MIT's Media Lab. Jonah had a funny interaction with Nike, the famous shoe company. You see, Nike had this cool feature where you could make your own custom shoes. Jonah decided to have some fun and asked them to put the word sweatshop on his shoes. A lot of back and forth emailing ensued. Nike obviously refused, but Jonah didn't give up. This whole conversation didn't stay private because Jonah shared his emails with his friends. And guess what? Those emails spread like wildfire. What initially seemed like a simple act of rebellion grew into a viral phenomenon. Peretti found himself on NBC's The Today Show, debating labor practices, and even Nike had to acknowledge the impact by reporting a significant spike in custom shoe sales. But this was more than just a fleeting moment of fame for Peretti. This was an epiphany, a realization of the potential influence one person could wield through the internet. How could a student with no contacts in media reach billions of people? What made content shareable and viral? Inspired Inspired by his newfound understanding of viral mechanics, Peretti, along with John Johnson, started BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed took the internet by storm. Listicles, quizzes, cat gifs, if it was shareable, BuzzFeed was on it. Facebook feeds were flooded, Twitter timelines were taken over, and for a moment, BuzzFeed was the unstoppable force of the digital world. BuzzFeed's first viral meme, The Disaster Girl, had people hooked, and the clicks kept coming. The incident was more than a momentary flash of fame. It was an insight into the potential of the internet to connect and engage on an unprecedented scale. By 2006, BuzzFeed had evolved into a prominent destination for unique content, known for its engaging quizzes, listicles, and pop culture commentary. This marked the era when BuzzFeed was indeed all the rage. Its content was seen everywhere, on social media platforms like Facebook, and its influence extended far beyond mere entertainment. With a dynamic mix of human humor, insight, and novelty, BuzzFeed successfully tapped into the zeitgeist of a generation. The innovation didn't stop with light-hearted content. In 2012, BuzzFeed took a bold step into the realm of serious journalism, launching its news selection. BuzzFeed diversified its reach by attracting prominent journalists and investing in international offices, podcasts, and shows. Its journalistic ventures garnered acclaim, including a Pulitzer Prize. BuzzFeed gained immense popularity due to its highly effective marketing strategies that went viral. These strategies were combined with a deep understanding of how people behave, which made BuzzFeed really stand out. The platform became closely associated with innovative online content, completely changing how online advertising worked by introducing new ways to seamlessly integrate ads into the content itself. The kind of content BuzzFeed produced became a regular part of online conversations, appealing to both young and older generations, and bridging the gap between entertainment and informative content. At the peak of its popularity, BuzzFeed became a symbol of being trendy and desirable. It caught the attention and respect of both potential employees and the general public. This prestigious status was the result of a combination of factors that positioned BuzzFeed as a trailblazer and an attractive place to work. Around 2014 to 2015, BuzzFeed became synonymous with the cutting edge of digital media innovation. Its ability to create content that resonated deep within its audience, particularly the younger generation, was unparalleled. This content was not only engaging, but also embraced the culture of sharing and interaction that was booming on social media platforms. As a result, BuzzFeed
feeds, articles, quizzes, and videos were frequently making rounds on social networks, establishing the company as a pop culture influencer. This widespread recognition and influence naturally drew attention from individuals looking to work in a dynamic and creative environment. BuzzFeed's reputation for producing content that was both fun and insightful fostered a perception that the company was a hub for those who wanted to contribute to the forefront of media innovation. Young professionals, especially those with a passion for content creation and digital trends, found BuzzFeed to be an aspirational workplace. BuzzFeed's approach to advertising and revenue generation also added to its allure. The seamless integration of sponsored content into its regular offerings demonstrated a keen understanding of the changing advertising landscape. This progressive strategy not only attracted advertisers, but also showcased BuzzFeed's ability to adapt and innovate within the evolving media industry. Prospective employees saw the company as not just a content creator, but also a forward-thinking business that had its finger on the pulse of modern marketing. BuzzFeed's success wasn't just about clever marketing or unique content. It mirrored a time when digital media was figuring itself out. Back then, the lines between news, fun stuff, and ads were getting blurry. BuzzFeed grasped this shift and put itself right at the forefront. Thanks to Peretti's smart guidance, BuzzFeed went from a random experiment to something that was a big part of our culture. It marked a new era in media. Instead of just reading things, people started sharing and talking about content like never before. But as for why BuzzFeed's journey took a downward turn, you got to look at how people worked there and what was expected of them. The digital media scene was all about fast-paced action and a constant craving for viral hits. And that's where the problem started for BuzzFeed's crew. They had to keep producing content that would grab attention. And that pressure, which helped them at first, eventually led to them feeling burned out and less motivated. The work environment was intense because of the non-stop news cycle and the push to get instant likes and shares. People had to deal with tight deadlines, and this often meant sacrificing their personal time to keep up with the crazy speed of the industry. This fast and furious world of digital media, mixed with the need to create content that clicked right away, ended up making lots of BuzzFeed employees unhappy. This unhappiness affected their mental and physical health, and sadly, burnout became a common thing for many of them. Sam Stryker used to work at BuzzFeed from 2014 to 2017. You might recognize him from the Try Guys series. He talked openly about what it was like to work there during that time. He said it felt like being on a roller coaster. Imagine that feeling. He compared it to a group called the Suicide Squad, which is quite a unique comparison. At BuzzFeed back then, things moved really fast and could be quite demanding. He stressed that even short breaks were rare because you might suddenly find yourself doing something unexpected. For example, if you had five minutes of free time, you could end up in a surprise video shoot where you're trying weird foods like deer penis or getting covered in glitter by Hilary Duff right in the office. And get this, Stryker even talked about times where he and his co-workers went undercover to expose a Hollywood wrongdoer. All of this happened because of their special skills and roles at BuzzFeed. Stryker's story showed that working there was pretty intense and not like your usual job. BuzzFeed was all about making content that caught your attention, and this meant doing all sorts of tasks and having some really unique experiences. The work culture at BuzzFeed during this time could be described as both exhilarating and unconventional. While the commitment to producing captivating content was evident, some might interpret certain aspects of the work environment as intense or even extreme. The work culture at BuzzFeed feed has raised concerns about its toxicity. To give you an idea, picture yourself as an intern at a company focused on creating videos. Now, imagine being asked to do something as extreme as drinking your own urine for a video. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are more examples that highlight the unusual and uncomfortable situations that could arise. In some cases, individuals who appeared in videos were subjected to eating strange and unconventional foods. This included consuming the private parts of various animals. These activities might have been presented as experiments or challenges, but they underscore a work environment that can be described as quite unconventional and potentially harmful to employees' well-being. This kind of culture, which seems to push boundaries and prioritize attention-grabbing content over the welfare of its workforce, has sparked discussions about the ethical aspects of BuzzFeed's practices and the effects they might have on the mental and physical health of its employees. Plus, most of all, it's just run out of ideas. BuzzFeed's popularity has dropped because people feel like they're seeing the same 
mod stuff. You know how when you want to watch their videos or read their articles, it might start to feel like you've seen it before. Well, that's been happening, and it's made a lot of people lose interest. In the world of online media, it's important to keep things fresh and interesting. If a platform doesn't come up with new and exciting ideas, people start looking elsewhere for cool stuff to watch and read. BuzzFeed's success at the beginning was because they were really good at talking about what was trending and coming up with new things, but if they keep doing the same old stuff, they risk losing their audience to other creators who are trying new things. Remember, today's viral sensation can be tomorrow's forgotten page in internet history. If you enjoyed today's video, then don't forget to hit like and subscribe.